So visceral pain, pain not from the skin, not from somatic tissues, not from skin, not from muscle, not from bone, from places like the gallbladder, the cardiac muscle, the, uh, uh, the spleen, et cetera, the appendix. All of these places can have tissue damage, and all of that can lead to a type of pain but it's very different from the paper cut, okay? So first of all, you have no idea where it is. You really don't know. Visceral pain is very poorly localized. It's very poorly localized in the body and it's poorly localized in time. It doesn't have a, a sharp onset or a sharp offset. The poor localization is, is the key component and, we, and to understand why that is, let's, let's go to what's, um, what's thought to be the mechanism for the poor localization of visceral pain. And that is a convergence from a deep visceral structure and a more superficial structure. And this can be skin or muscle or, or, or bone. Uh, so there's a convergence onto central neurons. These are neurons in the trigeminal nucleus or neurons in the dorsal horn. And so let's think about the, the, um, the, the heart. So if this deep structure is the heart, let's say it's from the ventricle, the left ventricle is, uh, converges with a, a stretch of skin. Well, you will never refer, when you're hooking, when you're a baby and you're learning to hook up uh, your somatosensory system, you'll never know that your heart was stimulated. First, first of all, your heart won't be stimulated. It, there won't be any noxious stimulus there. These are basically silent until, until unusual circumstances, hopefully silent for most of your life, all of your life. Um, uh, so, but you, you will hook up this, this more superficial uh, primary afferent. And so when you, when this neuron, this central neuron fires, it will be interpreted as pain to, let's say the shoulder. And now what happens <clears throat> is you're 60 years old and now all of a sudden the, the cardiac muscle is in fact damaged and it starts to fire. Well, it will be referred that firing will be referred to where this cell was hooked up to, which is this area of skin. So it'll be referred to the um, shoulder. But that's a pretty rough reference. Uh, in men, heart attacks are typically referred to the left shoulder, maybe the left arm. In women, they tend more to be affect, uh, more uh, centrally located, so they feel uh, similar to um, heartburn. <clears throat> Um, and in any case, when you get this, first of all, you don't know whether it really is your shoulder or whether it's your heart. You certainly don't know whether it's your left ventricle, your right ventricle, your right atrium, your left atrium. You have no ability to localize. But there is this basic topography such that the, 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 the thoracic, for example, the thoracic viscera are going to end um, on neurons that are much higher in the spinal cord than the abdominal viscera. And so there is a rough, rough topography that you will learn so that an upper right quadrant or an upper left quadrant pain tends to mean this or that. It, you can refer, you can, um, in most people, this is referred to this organ or to that organ. Um, and this is very important because a person cannot tell you which organ it is that is injured. But this, this very poorly localized, amorphous, deep pain is something to pay attention to because it can mean that there's an internal tissue, there's an instance of internal tissue damage and the person may need medical attention. Okay, so now we're gonna end somatosensory by looking at how we can, um, how we can modulate uh, pain, pain modulation. Mm -hmm.